In the book, you also talk about the deep strain of libertarianism running through this uh, community. Um, you know, why do you think that that is so closely associated with, with these communities? And, uh, you know, how, how perhaps does that sort of manifest it, itself in their worldview and how they create these systems? Oh, that's an interesting question. Uh, and not many people ask me about that. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty delighted to talk about it. Uh, libertarianism is the default in Silicon Valley. Uh, and the reason for that is really interesting. So the uh, early pioneers of the internet, uh, the Stuart Brands and the Marvin Minsky's of the world uh, were hippies. They were, uh, you know, Trustafarians and prep school kids who uh, were living through the 60s and went to live on communes and thought, oh, hey, communes are great. We're going to live beyond the reach of the government. We don't need government giving us rules or whatever. And, you know, all the like hippie stuff. Uh, but the thing is that the communes were actually really good places to be uh, a white male. And if you were female on the communes, you were pretty much barefoot pregnant and in the kitchen. Uh, there were very few people of color on the communes and the communes all fell apart at the end of the 60s. Uh, but the people who lived there said, all right, well, the communes failed, but there's this whole new world that's emerging uh, called cyberspace. So we're going to transport our ideas about communalism and our anti-government rhetoric onto this new sphere. So Stuart Brand is a really important figure in this uh, because he started the whole earth catalog. And then he also started the well, which was the kind of very first uh, place that we had uh, a real online community. Uh, it still exists. It's like really, uh, it's well past its heyday. Uh, but when you look really hard, you can see the way that these 1960s hippie ideas got transported into ideas about cyberspace. John Perry Barlow, for example, who wrote the Declaration of Independence of Cyberspace at Davos one year, former lyricist for the Grateful Dead, head of the EFF, you know, uh, heavily into this whole, uh, whole earth scene. Uh, and so libertarianism uh, is what the kind of hippie ethos morphed into. It became the default in Silicon Valley. And this gave rise to the idea that people making technology didn't have to pay attention to rules, didn't have to pay attention to government. And coupled with the privilege, uh, the economic racial privilege that I talked about earlier, uh, it just gave rise to a really toxic brew that has guided the development of the technological systems that are now so influential over our lives. And it's a really bad scene. I think that was a, a really fantastic sort of scene setting of, of what we're dealing with here. I guess just, just very quickly, would you say that um, that ethos lives on in, in the community? Very much so. Uh, Stuart Brand, still a really influential person. Uh, Whole Earth, uh, still a really influential, uh, you know, influential community, influential inspiration. Uh, all of your major tech titans subscribe to uh, the same kind of magical thinking. Uh, and then we've got the weird culty stuff like the singularity uh, or the, uh, you know, the self-driving car. Who's that self-driving car guy who started his own cult? Oh, Anthony Lewandowski, uh, who thinks he's a god. Right. So like there's there's all kinds of weird stuff happening and we should not really be giving much credence to it. And we should also pay attention to what these folks are doing. So Marvin Minsky, for example, heavily implicated in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. Uh, you have to look at uh, look at these folks, look at what they're qualified to talk about, look at what they're not qualified to talk about. And you have to really be judicious. So 
the more whacked out imaginary stuff about let's all go live on Mars or let's go seastead or let's like preserve our brains and freeze them so that we can upload them into a future consciousness. Like it's nutty and we shouldn't really pay attention to it. And that's not what AI is. AI is math. Uh, it's an actual technology. Uh, it exists. It's not the Hollywood stuff. It's not the Terminator. It's just math and it's being used to uh, oppress people, violate people's civil rights, and we really need to change that. Mm -hmm.